Patrycja Atkinson jest człowiekiem roku magazynu Czas Wina roku 2012. Zazwyczaj tą nagrodę przyznajemy ludziom ściśle związanym z produkcją wina, winiarzom, producentom, winemakerom. I tak jest też w przypadku Patrycji, ale Patrycja Atkinson to także osoba, która niezależnie od tego, że produkuje wspaniałe wina, jest także autorką dwóch znakomitych powieści, książek autobiograficznych opowiadających o życiu Brytyjki przeniesionej nagle, niespodziewanie w realia francuskiej wsi w apelacji Bergera, w której właściwie od podstaw musi nauczyć się ciężkiego rzemiosła winiarskiego. Robi to z początku niechętnie, a następnie staje się osobą wprost zakochaną w tej sztuce i dziś rozpoznawalną, i, 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 której wina znajdują się w najważniejszych przewodnikach winiarskich, winiarskich świata. Well, my adventure with wine started purely by accident, um, because I moved to France with my husband, who particularly wanted to move to France. And we were not planning to, to make wine, but circumstances meant that I suddenly had to make wine. And although I didn't want to, and I didn't choose to, It was a wonderful adventure, and it continues to be a wonderful adventure. Well, the books happen by chance as well, um, because I get very good wine press in England, and a, a, an editor from the publishing company, Random House, saw an article and was very interested in it, and wrote to me to ask me if I'd like to write a book. So that was a very happy chance, because most people write books and then have to find publishers, whereas mine was the other way around, so that was terribly lucky. Well, I would like to say that I have had nothing but kindness from the French, the winemaking community and the French generally. Clearly, when I started 24 years ago, I was the only woman winemaker, and clearly they either thought I was mad or stupid or both, because in those days I could hardly speak French, I really didn't know much about wine. Um, but they took me under their wing as soon as they saw that I was serious about what I was doing, because I had to be. They accepted me completely. Także wręczam tytuł Person of the Year 2012 awarded to Patricia Atkinson. Well, first of all, I'd like to start with an apology. I am very, very sorry that I can't speak any Polish. And I am very, very flattered and very honored to receive this prize. But it is, it is true that it's actually very difficult to make a bottle of wine. And of course, your Polish winemakers here know all about that. So many things can go wrong. And I mean, I guess you are all here because you are all lovers of wine. And I'm assuming you forgive the, the small mistakes that winemakers make sometimes. But all in all, I think we'd agree that wine is a wonderful thing. It gives us pleasure. It relaxes us. It's very enjoyable to drink whilst eating our food. Very nice all on its own, just to drink. Drodzy Państwo, mamy już chyba wszyscy, albo prawie wszyscy pierwsze wino w kieliszku. Princess de Cleve, białe wino, o którego opis poproszę, poproszę Patrycję. Um, well, this wine is a, a classic white blend of Sauvignon, Semillon and Muscadel. So it's 50% Sauvignon. 30% Semillon and 20% Muscadel. So it's the Sauvignon that gives that grassy freshness, mm -hmm. Semillon that gives richness, and the Muscadel that gives an extra perfume. Well, I decided to give each of my wines a name, and I decided to name them after French novels. And this one is called Princesse de Cleve, and it's named after a book by Madame de Lafayette, who Uh, wrote the book in the 17th century, and it was the first French novel, and purely by chance, it's written by a woman. Mm -hmm. And it's the story of a young princess that marries an old prince and falls in love with a young count. Um, such is her innocence that she tells the old prince that she loves the count. He dies uh, of, a, of a broken heart. She takes herself to a convent, 
the Count spends his life searching for her and finds her as she's dying with a white lily on her breast. Mm. So this represents purity. And again, I've finished by saying thank you very, very much and um, enjoy continuing to drink good wines. Thank you.